Okay, what do you think of when I say swarm? I already know it's nothing good, right? I mean, come on. The problem is that most things that swarm have annoying stingers, and stings cause puffiness at minimum. So no thank you to swarms. But now there's a whole different way to look at the word. New innovation can create a 3D form with printers that swarm. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. In nature, creatures such as bees and ants work closely together to build hives or store food. It looks like chaos, but every insect knows what it has to do, dutifully performs the task, and communicates with others to finish the job. What if similar biomimicry was applied to industrialization, and specifically to using swarms of 3D printers to print large-scale items such as body shells for cars? An associate professor of mechanical engineering, Dr. Wen Chao Zhou, believes in the concept so much he started a company called Ambots. I traveled to Fayetteville, Arkansas to meet Dr. Joe and learn more about his advanced manufacturing robots. What is AMBA? So in a conventional manufacturing process, it's a pre-planned process, and it works great for efficiency, but you can't have long-term autonomy with that. And so with AMBA, the idea is the robots can work together with each other in real time and reconfigure and to enable very modular factories. What you described seems like a large platform, an adaptable platform. So in, in the real world, how would we see the application of, of your technology? The ultimate vision is that we won't have autonomous manufacturing because you'll be able to produce customized products on demand at an affordable cost. Joe and his team had to literally think outside the box, building new hardware and writing complex software code to give individual printers the capability of working together. So what are we looking at here? These are some of our early prototypes of our, our um, mobile robot 3D printing system. I had no idea that these were the 3D printers. I was thrown off by the wheels. Typically, when you think about 3D printers, they're kind of confined to the box, right? That's the factory floor. But now this is the factory floor. This is a complete paradigm shift. You could have a swarm of these moving around, instantly determining, communicating with each other, which robot is going to be able to most efficiently build whatever piece needs to be built at that moment. That's right. Ambot software calculates the size of the object, divides it into sections, and splits the tasks between robots. So this robot is working on this plate up here. When it's time to move on, how does it, how does it move? It tells the mobile platform, hey, I, I need you to come pick me up and move me to my next location. So it will come, it will pick up the printer, and it will unmount it from the floor and move it to its next location. Ambots are still in the beta testing phase and have even participated in tests for 3D printing habitats on Mars. But for now, I'd be happy getting this 3D printed thing for my coffee table. <laughs> 